Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we're going to start off with our gold chart. We can see our 11 to 12 day move up here couple inside bars but as we talked about eventually we have to pull back uh, we have to breathe doesn't necessarily mean we're going to come back and test the 20 moving average or this last consolidation resistance but we what we can see as we grab, grab our crosshairs is that there, there certainly could be a potential for the market to pull back, back to this past swing high right in here So, uh, well, how can we confirm that? Is we'll come over to our hourly market profile. We can see that we are already uh, oversold. Certainly, we can see that since we have a burst engulfing candle here. So we're over. We're getting close to oversold. We're actually already in it. So there's already a, a probability of reversing. And when we look at our market profile, we can see that around this 1585 price level, there is going to be some volume support anyway because of what happened early early uh, last week and now uh, what's starting off with this week. Notice that this is exactly where we got down and we're pausing where in the past we accumulated volume. So I'll watch to see what happens here at this 1585 price level. Uh, if we break through that then certainly I think we'll, we'll retest on the daily this past swing high. So a week uh, goal for the day does what to the market? Starting off with the pound dollar well, we can see with the pound dollar on a daily is two things. Selling volume, still in control, still light volume. But also on the daily, we can see that this 1.6175 price level, this 1.167, 1.168 price level, we paused here, we paused here, we wicked here, and then we wick here today. So there's definitely some sellers at this price level saying, we find value, let's push it down. That doesn't mean we have a... Uh, um, a uh, a, a down candle, but it does mean that the sellers are finding value at this 1.6175 price level. So it's going to be hard for us to get through this, and we will see that through our market profile. So it seems like what was once a nice tight consolidation range really now is around this 1.59 up to this 1.61 price level. What's going to be our catalyst to break us out? Not only of this range, but also this downtrending channel that we're in. Well, we'll come over to our market profile, our hourly view. We can see that we bounced off our long time moving average in the neutral zone. We've gone up and we're potentially coming back. Um, but for the most part, you can see still we got to push down to the, um, our long term moving average and then we return. Where do we return to? Right back to this range that we've been in for a couple of days. So we're back in this range. We came out of it and we came right back. So this 1.607 up to 1.617, which we talked about, that's a real nice tight range that we seem to be oscillating in for the past several days with one little breakout. Why is that? Well, look at our who's in control indicator. We can see even when the dollar or the pound takes control, they're really running parallel to each other. They're not diverging, moving away from each other. They're really just kind of hanging out together, and that brings about 
parity. Even now, as the dollar takes control, um, they're both right next to each other and they're both below zero. Parity. Um, and we can see that also on our uh, moving average on the dollar and the pound that they both broke higher. But in the end, they're basically parallel to each other, which is going to equal parity. Switching over to the euro dollar. Here, we are also starting to range again, also starting to range again. Didn't, we're not seeing it get up as high as the pound dollar did, but it is starting to range in value again. Um, we talked about in the past that um, we had lighter volume, but notice today we kick, kicked up a vo volume. Even though this, the selling volume is still in control, we did kick it up a notch here. So what we need to do is see, are we going to go back and retest this, or are we really in another tight range? And again, we talked about this yesterday, we'll talk about it again today. Why are we ranging? Uh, there's this uncertainty about what's going on with the debt ceiling in the states, and the uncertainty about what's going on with the bailouts of some of the pigs in the eurozone, Portugal, Ireland, Greece, and Spain. So when we come over here, we're finally, this is one that was been way off of the long-term moving average, and we finally got to move up, but where we're at now is the neutral zone. This is neutral. The long-term moving average is up off of neutral. So we're in the neutral zone, uh, just like the pound dollar. The dollar took control, but it's very fractionally. Um, we did see some divergence here, and that's why we, at least we got some movement on this. You can see when the uh, euro took control, we got some movement. There was some divergence, but now they've come back to each other, which is why we're in the neutral zone, and we may consolidate for a little bit. And again, we can see on our moving averages, on the, uh, we can see that the dollar is trying to make a move up, but the euro is making a move up also, which is why we have them both angling up under zero. So I would like to see us get out of the neutral zone, and I would like to see one of these pairs truly take control and begin to diverge away from the other, just like the pound dollar. Finally, we'll end with the dollar franc. And on our long time view, we said that we we're probably going to make a move back to uh, the 20 moving average, a move back to our past support level, and that's what we're doing. Now, what's interesting is this will this be a place where um, sellers find value and push it down again? We'll have to wait and see. Light volume, so only the euro dollar had a pickup in volume, still light volume, sellers still in control. And as we come over, we can see we made a move to our long-term moving average, kind of failed a little bit, but we're basically hanging out in the neutral zone. Here, as the dollar took control, we are seeing that divergence. The dollar is moving up, the uh, franc is moving lower, thus we're getting that move up. The dollar is taking control, is allowing for this move back up. Um, and you can see it here where the dollar is moving up and the uh, franc is moving down. That's great, but we do need to get out of this uh, uh, neutral zone before we look for a position. As we go to our low volatility and our inside bar watch list, we currently do not have a, a candidate for either, so we do not have a low volatility or an inside bar candidate. And we've, you know, we're going to continue to talk about winning traders and losing traders, but we finished, um, you know, our, our, our current series on what separates them. So today I want to talk about some ingredients that go into a trading plan. Remember, we said that's one thing that separates winning traders and losing traders. Winning traders have a plan. They know why they're trading. They know when to trade. So we want to kind of give you guys some ideas of, of some things that can go into your trading plan. So certainly you need to actually know what type of style you're going to trade. Are you going to be a long-term trader or a short-term trader? Are you going to be a, um, a breakout trader or a reversal trader? So you need to know what your style is going to be. Then you need to determine the time frame. Are you going to trade the daily, the hourly, uh, the four-hour, M15? What type of time frame are you going to trade? The cost. So many times says overlook your commissions, um, your data feeds, uh, any subscriptions that you're going to use, you got to put that into your money management plans to make sure that you're going to be positive at the end of the month and can pay your bills and, more importantly, live life comfortably. Um, you know, depending on the market, you got to know what's, what's your profit potential. You know, uh, trading for it, trading futures, trading whatever it may be, what is your potential for profit? And then, more importantly, what is the risk that you're going to In order to make that profit, what, what am I going to have to risk? 
Um, so you have to know all these things so that you know, again, that the system that you're trading, your style that you're trading, the plan that, that you're trading is not going to uh, mess with you psychologically and you begin to make emotional decisions that blow out your account. Finally, you need to know your external factors and why you expect to succeed. You know, I, I was talking with some traders, and again, there are thousands and thousands and millions and millions of traders out there that have a setup, that have an indicator, that have something to trade. Google, Google technical indicators and you'll find, you know, a million hits. But what's important, what separates winning traders and losing traders is that trader's mindset that allows them to stay focused and disciplined and focused on, on the job at hand, and that's to make money investing. And that's our theme here at DMBFX.com, focused, dis dis discipline, and high probability trading. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.